Hey friends, it's Donna Ray, and you are here at Flannel Jammies Farm. Today is December 12th, 2018, which means that this would have been Flossmas video number 12, except I've been feeling a little grinchy <laughs> the last few days. Um, and really wasn't feeling very well, and so I've skipped a couple of days. This is going to be Flossmas 10, 11, and 12, okay? I wanted to show you some things that I've gotten in the mail. You know, now is the time of season where we're getting Christmas cards and packages, boxes and bags, as the Grinch would say. Um, and so I've gotten a few little things in the mail. First of all, from my darling friend Lynette, some Christmas joy. <laughs> Thank you, Lynette. Um, I received, I had ordered from uh, Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches. She had a sale, and so I'd ordered a couple of things from her. First of all, Sarah Boothman, 1845, from Heartstring Samplery. Isn't it lovely? I just love the softness of it and the colors, so I've got that. And then, you know, I've watched everybody else stitching on it, so I had to have it too. So I got Vintage Animals from Jeanette Douglas. This will be my first Jeanette Douglas. And so I'm kind of excited. These animals really caught my eye. I seem to be having a deer theme going on in my stitching. So this one really caught my eye. Thanks, Julie. I appreciate your quick service. Um, I just received something in the mail from my dear friend, Yvonne, the Night Owl Stitcher. And it, there, was, there was a lovely letter involved in the gift, but Yvonne went the extra mile. Yvonne sent me a beautiful scissor fob. Okay, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The deal is, that's one of my beads. Yvonne was very sneaky, and this is one of my bees. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh, I can't believe Oh, this is just a great gift. Yvonne, you are a darling friend and very thoughtful and oh so kind. I thank you so very much. All right, I have some progress, a little bit of progress. So first we're going to talk about um, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen by Pineberry Lane. You know I've been working on this if you've watched my previous Flossmases and I had picked out all my own colors and so I was going to be doing the kind of the snowflakes and the bottom border, this bottom border, in a, what I thought would be great because I'd switched up the colors and I was doing it on a little dark, darker fabric. So I was gonna do frosted sage, which is kind of a light aqua. And then I was gonna do Victoria Motto uh, Meadow Hillside, okay? And I thought those would make a really sweet little border together. Well, don't you know, I stitched some of the snowflakes in that meadow hillside and you couldn't see them at all. And I kept stitching them thinking, maybe it's late at night. <laughs> it's just me. No, you couldn't see them at all. So I've switched it out and I'm doing some of the snowflakes again in the frosted sage and the other part in blue spruce, which is kind of a beautiful blue spruce color. It's it's a dark tealy yumminess. Um, so here's what I've got so far and um, I've made pretty good progress. Here we go. I've got ye merry gentle. <laughs> but you'll see, so these are the snowflakes that I had done in that in that meadow hillside and they weren't showing up at all. I think they look great in that blue spruce color. What do you think? Let me know what you think. And here's the Here's the uh, Frosted Sage. I think that's gonna be a really nice combination. So there we go. God rest you merry gentlemen. God rest you merry gentlemen. No, I can't sing. Um, it's one thing I really cannot do. <laughs> okay, uh, Plum Street Samplers, 12 Days of Christmas. It's a free series of charts available on Paulette's blog. And here I am. Remember I had finished the first day and I've moved on to the second day. So I've gotten the crown and my two turtle doves. And second, 
So I've made good progress on that, I think. Um, it's going really well. It's a really, it's a quick and joyful stitch. It really is. So give it a try. I'm, I'm hoping to have it done by next Christmas. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Since those were going along just swimmingly, <laughs> I decided to pull out a Christmas start from last year that I didn't finish. Um, and it is so joyful to me. I talked about it in a way long ago uh, floss tube video, but it's Beth Twist did a free chart, heartstring samplery, and it's Yukon's Christmas list. And it features Yukon Cornelius, okay? And it's this wonderful pattern that you make a drum. And the pattern, um, it's, oh, sorry, don't want to show you that. It is free though, so it's okay, right? Um, it says cornmeal, corn mush, ham hocks, gunpowder, and guitar strings, something like that. <laughs> All the things that Yukon would need on his Christmas list. Isn't that funny? So um, I did a little bit more work on that from where I'd left off, so I'll show you that. And here it is. And again, I chose my own colors because I'm like that. Um, but I think it's going really, really well. I, I love these colors together on this darker fabric. What do you think? Again, hoping to have it done by next Christmas, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, those are my whips. I do have an FFO, but not of the stitching variety. Um, a couple of days ago, I started thinking about and beginning to put pieces together for a new garland in my house. I normally uh, drape long pieces of this really light sagey kind of linen. Um, and I have it on my tables and I have it draped across my archway from my dining room into the main kitchen area. And this year I decided to do all black and white buffalo check. And so that linen was not gonna go very well. You know, old hymnals, really are not something that anybody wants. Other churches have purchased newer editions of their hymnals. The hymnals that we had were actually two editions ago, three editions ago, I think. Um, and we had purchased in between an edition and now we've purchased a new edition of hymnals. So our church really couldn't find a good use for these. I have been utilizing the pages in different crafting uh, projects for our Advent workshops at church and so I thought I'd prototype something that maybe we can use next year at our Advent workshop but also that I'd like to have in my house so I created a garland I'll show you more about that here so tonight I'm playing at the workbench I'm gonna do a garland with some dried oranges that I've had laying about the house mm -hmm. and I have my church's old hymnals no one really seemed to want other churches didn't seem to want them and so I've been using them for a lot of crafts at our church and here at home because they were just going to toss them out so I'm going to do a garland with the dried orange slices and these stars once I play with them a little more and we'll see how it turns out So I'm back at work this morning on the garland that I was making from dried oranges and hymnal page stars. I am ever thankful for my father-in-law's workbench which came home to live with us. And it's got this wonderful inlaid ruler right along the edge which really helps me when putting something like this together. So here we go and you can see I've just got oranges and then stars with a little glitter on the edges. And I'm just going down the length and stringing them onto this beautiful ivory slub silk ribbon. It's just amazingly beautiful. 
So I'm going to get back to work. So that's my new garland. Just above it is hanging my vegan deer head. <laughs> that's what I like to call him anyway. Um, you know, we don't have we don't have animals hanging in our house, so I have this little vegan one hanging up there. He's made of paper mache. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I enjoyed that little garland so much, and you know, it, it was something that I could do when I wasn't feeling the best and I didn't have to focus and count quite so hard. And so it, it was a little highlight at the beginning of my week. I'm going to put in a little clip of me kind of hanging out in the garden and bringing in some Swiss chard. And then we are going to end our time together. So here you go. So tonight I'm going to make a lovely seven grain mix and I'm going to add some onion and celery and seasoning and some dried cranberries and um, maybe a little apple and some pecans and I wanted some greens. So I've come out to the garden and I'm going to pick some of these beautiful, beautiful Swiss chard leaves. Scarlet is obviously chasing something by the composter. Scarlet, what are you chasing? Oh my goodness, there's no telling. Anyway, I'm going to pick some of these Swiss chard leaves and take them inside. So we've come inside and brought in that beautiful Swiss chard to clean in my sink. And um, have you guys seen these things, these sink protectors? I use these all the time. They're, um, they're made by KitchenAid and they're just plastic rubber or something and they go inside your sink. I have a deep porcelain Kohler's double sink that I want to protect, right? So I use these all the time. So Santa came early for the sink and brought new sink protectors. These are black. I've had the last ones I had, I've had white. The last ones I had were clear, which turned this strange color from coffee and food debris. No, thank you. <laughs> So, time to clean some Swiss chard for supper. See you guys later. Also, I forgot to mention these sink protectors. Dishwasher safe. <laughs> so, every few days I just pop them in the dishwasher just to just to get them really clean, kind of scrubbed off. And um, and again, it just protects my sink from pots and pans and heavy dishes, and I love them. Okay, bye. And there are the bees tucked in. It's really cold here. We've had kind of a winter storm, lots of rain. And so you'll see they're not flying today. They are inside keeping warm and feeding their babies, cleaning their hive, doing all the work that bees do. Stay warm, bees. Yes, that was Scarlet knocking over the colander in the garden. <laughs> I think she was chasing either a squirrel or a possum. I'm not sure which, but she was after it. Someday she will get one. I don't look forward to that day. Oh, dear friends, I hope that your midweek is beautiful and bright. I hope that your evening tonight will be warm and cozy. And I hope that the days ahead will be filled with wonder and with joy. Bye-bye, friends. Thank mm -hmm. you.